Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Smiley. I hope you're having a great day today. I wanted to do a few quick videos today. And the first one is about some more vocabulary words to go with unit eight. And remember, unit eight was talking about what is in the sky. And there's so many neat words and things that we can learn and talk about with talking about what is in the sky. And you guys know so much about that already. Our second thing that I want to do, our second lesson is going to be reading a new Oreo book, The Sun is Up. And remember, you can read this with me, or you can turn on the volume and read it by yourself. Okay, so let's start with our vocabulary words. The first word I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna hold it up, and let's see if you can figure it out. L-I-G-H-T, and I-G-H-T goes it, it. I have a little song I'll have to teach you that soon that goes with that one, but it's l it and this is a light. So I think boys and girls, you guys pretty much know what a light is. You can turn it on in your room so you can see better. So if it's dark in your room, you can turn on a light and it gives us brightness so we can see. So lights could be lamps or the light on the ceiling. So light, or it could even be maybe clothing that you're wearing. Like you said, oh, my shirt is a light color. Maybe it has a lot of white in it, okay? The next word I want to look at is, it has it again, I-G-H-T, it, but it has a blend in the beginning, B-R. Do you remember what B-R says? Br, it, br, B-R goes br. When you put that B and the R together, they give us one special sound. Br, it, br, it, bright. So they're showing us a flashlight. A flashlight is really bright. So when I think of the word bright, I think of like those neon colors that we see sometimes um, that are super bright colors. Or maybe if a room has lots and lots of lights turned on, it could be really bright. Or it could be a summer day when um, you're out playing and the sun is so bright that you wanna put your sunglasses on so your eyes don't hurt. So bright, that's another vocabulary word. This is the opposite of bright. What do you think it's gonna be? You guessed it. D R K. Remember A R R R R. So we have D R K. Dark. Yeah, and dark is when we think about a time when maybe all the lights are turned off and you can't see very well in that room. Or maybe at nighttime when the sun is down, the sky gets dark. We know when the sun is up, the sky is light and bright. But when the sun goes down, the sky is dark. Very good. Okay, so let's look at our next one. Oh, I love this word. I want you to go outside and see if you can find this today. If it's sunny out, you should be able to. Shh, S-H, shh, 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 Here's our S-H, shh, ah, d, o, Add, oh, shadow. And this cute little groundhog is seeing his shadow. So we probably have all seen our shadow on a nice bright and sunny day when the, su the sun is shining on us so brightly that it leaves a shadow behind us on the ground. Our body is blocking that sunshine from getting to the ground behind us and it creates a shadow. So if you get the chance, go outside today and see if you can see your shadow. Shadow. Here's our last vocabulary word we're gonna look at today. And again, I apologize, my printer cut off the E and the S, but it has an SH in the beginning. And this E is telling the I to say its name. So it's Einstein, it's a silent E, but he doesn't do any talking. So it's shines, shines. And we all know that the sun, if the sun shines, we're gonna have a pretty bright and light day. But if the sun is not shining and it, does, it doesn't it does shine, then it's probably gonna be that dark day. So we kind of like the days where the sun shines. And if the sun shines, then you'll be able to see a shadow. Okay, all right, so those are the vocabulary words. Now I wanna look at this story with you together. So I'm gonna try to scoot up a little bit closer. Here we go. We're gonna read this one together, friends. The sun is up. B 
by Lada Josefa Kratke. There's our beautiful cover. Looks like a sunrise. Title page, The Sun is Up by Lada Josefa Kratke. Okay, take a second to look at the picture. I see a tent and a little boy and a daddy and they're, he's pointing to the sunrise. Here we go. Come and sit, sit here. Look at the sun come up. Sun is rising. Looks like there's another character in our story. Ready? Here we go. The sun is up. A little b it bit. What time? Is it now? It is five. Okay. Look at this picture. Looks like they're cooking something to eat. The sun's a little bit higher in the sky. Here we go. How did the sun get that size? See the sign when he told the eye to say its name? Eyes. And there's our question mark. What time is it now? It is six. Okay, look at what they're doing now. The sun's a little bit higher. All righty. I can. Now it is nine. Come on. We can hike. Ooh, look how high in the sky the sun is now. We got to the top. Look at the sun now. How did it get there? See the question? It's pretty high in the sky. Now look at the sun. It's not as high as it was. It's starting to set. It's starting to go down. Ready? How did the sun get there? And how did it get there? So the sun is going down, isn't it? Oh my goodness. It's starting to look dark, right? You can see the stars and the moon in the sky now. And you can see the sun is just about down because you can see the horizon. There's still a little light there. That sun's going down. Here we go. I cannot find the sun now. How did the sun hide? How? And we know it hid because it's, it went down, didn't it? Okay, now our words in that book were how and now. Those were some of our sight words in there and a lot of you know those already. We had a lot of Simonese making the I say its name in that book, okay? Great reading. Remember to read that one again without me so we can read it together a few times where you hear my voice and then turn it off and read it on your own, okay? I hope you guys enjoy that story. I love learning about the sun in the sky. Have a great day.